Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Checking in on XLK, Apple, and Facebook. So continuation to higher lows and higher highs. It is a bearish reversal doji on the daily time frame, and we need to be cautious here. I do expect profit taking on Apple and Facebook heading into earnings. When you see a 7% move like Apple has in the past three days heading into earnings, you look for some profit taking as we are looking at, at traders to lock in their profits without having to risk whether or not earnings are going to be bullish or bearish. So it is a bearish reversal doji. If we see a break of 62.67, we will look to confirm this reversal candlestick. Otherwise, we'll see if the bulls can maintain above the upper Bollinger Band and keep control on this breakout. The weekly time frame, this is now our sixth green week in a row. Still very strong, still no signs of weakness. I'm just cautious at this point because look at these two charts. On Apple, we have run three days now, two or three gap ups in a row. And actually, I take that back. We opened right at the high of yesterday. So three higher opens in a row and a very significant move of over 7%. Now, what this tells me is the market is pricing in bullish earnings. And that's because Amazon and Google had such big reactions. So for Apple to see bullish earnings after running 7% in three days, think about the odds of this scenario. What are the odds that the bulls are going to see bullish earnings? What are the odds that we're going to see bearish earnings? And it doesn't even matter. That's obviously maybe a 50-50. But we could even in this scenario, because we have run 7%, we could still see bullish earnings and have a negative bearish reaction because again, how high, let's try that again. Hopes are very high where again, 7% being priced in already. So if I were going to bet on earnings, which I don't do because I don't like gambling, I'm not a fundamental analyst, but I would be betting bearish because this is already pricing in a bullish reaction. It's going to have to hit it out of the park in terms of bull seeing follow through on this reaction. So on the weekly time frame, very significant strength, higher lows and higher highs. I'm certainly not fighting the trend at this point, but I am keeping an eye out for a day trade opportunity for the bears with profit taking either tomorrow or Thursday heading into earnings, which is after hours on Thursday. So Facebook also very strong, but not to the same degree. We did see a big move, but we didn't see the kind of follow through today that Apple did see. Resistance is 180.80 and the higher low support is 178.94 for the bulls to try and stay in control. We're above the upper Bollinger Band three days in a row. If we continue to close above it, the bulls remain in full control. Same thing, watching for potential profit taking as we head into earnings day on Thursday after hours, the weekly time frame, six green weeks in a row. Upper Bollinger Band is up at 152.05, trying to close above that level. And pretty much if we get a bull reaction, we're looking at all time highs. And if we get a bear reaction for Apple, we'll be looking down at support really all the way down in the this gap fill would be the first target, 157.83. And for Facebook, the gap fill at 172.28. So just three days ago, these both of these names were significantly lower and they're higher right now because Amazon and Google earnings were a beat and bulls are anticipating and pricing in a bullish beat on Apple and Facebook. We'll see how it plays out. Very cautious bullish at these levels. We'll see you again tomorrow. I appreciate you watching in.